We're here at the Intel Museum, and I'm going to show you. This is uh, sand. It's the second most common element on Earth after oxygen. And in here are purified silicon rock. The silicon is melted. You can see here, this is molten silicon. And it starts with a seed crystal. It's spun, and gradually the ingot is formed slowly by drawing it out of the molten uh, silicon. This is a 270 pound silicon ingot. It's a 300 millimeter ingot, and wafers are sliced off the ingot and then polished to a mirror surface. And this is the point at which Intel purchases these prepared wafers and then starts to build its circuits on top of the wafer. We're in the fab area and Intel manufacturing facilities are called fabs and they're composed of several layers in a building. The clean room layer shown right here is where the chips are actually made and the section above is all air purification because the biggest threat to manufacturing a chip is particles and dirt. So the air in a clean room, this area right here, is um, might have one particle per cubic meter. It's very, very clean. And you can see the floor here is perforated, just like the floor we're standing on. And that allows the air to be circulated through the clean room. Underneath, on the floors below, are all the support materials, all the water and acid and materials electrical that are needed to support the clean room. And you, this is called the utility level. When you work in a clean room, you need to wear a special suit. These are nicknamed bunny suits because when they first were introduced into the fabrication facilities, people thought they looked like large white rabbits. But they're actually very high-tech material, uh, usually made of Gore-Tex, and they allow the worker to be protected from shedding skin flakes, particles of salt, sweat, saliva, hair follicles onto the chips that they're manufacturing because one of the dirtiest things in the fab is a person. So, usually the fab, is, the fab shift is usually a 12 hour shift and fab workers work three days on, four days off, four days on, three days off. And the fab is kept cooler because it's hot in the suit. So the average temperature in a fab would be in the low 60s.